guys welcome back to my channel I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today I wanted to review the January Sephora play and then we're also going to preview the February Sephora play so the January Sephora play came in a bag like this which is a pretty cool bag it's kind of beachy like because it has this mesh back to it so you can see all your products in here which would be perfect honestly to take to the beach because then you're if you get sand in it or whatever you can kind of just shake it out so that'd be really cool to take to the beach so let's talk about the perfume the first first item I want to talk about is the perfume because they always give you a perfume even though it's not technically one of your samples that they count as a sample I want to talk about it first so the first perfume is the Tory Burch Love Relentlessly Love Relentlessly perfume this is the new fragrance by Tory Burch um, the notes to this as I can see online is pink pepper rose orris and sandalwood so for me I really can smell a little bit of the rose but not a whole lot for me, I smell more of, I guess, the sandalwood to it. I think it smells a little bit more sandalwoody, even though that's like one of the last notes on the list. I don't really smell the peppery scent either because I don't really like pepper scent. So for me, I'm happy about that. But I do smell a little bit of rose in the sandalwood. I think it's an okay perfume. It's not something I personally would purchase. But I mean, if you were into that type of scent, then you might like it. It does not did not cause me to have a headache, which is really important. So note that because I know a lot of you guys are like me, you're very sensitive to smells and things like that. And this one is strong, but it doesn't cause a headache. So just FYI. The next product is something from Way. I think it's pronounced Way. It's O-U-A-I. This is the treatment mask. Now I really love anything from Way lately. I think it's Way. I really love a lot of their products. I feel like they gave us a beach spray, I think it was, a couple months ago. I love that product. I think it smells really good. I think that's one of the things that really draws me to this product line is the scent. The scent is very, very nice. It's very clean and very fresh smelling. But this is a good product too. I feel like my hair, when I used this, I feel like my hair was having a, I was having a better hair day, which is always awesome. I love when there's days when you wake up and you're like, oh my gosh, it's a good hair day. So I really do like this and I definitely would purchase a full size. The full size to this, I did go ahead and look up everything so I can tell you guys as we go along the full size prices. So the full size for this is it comes in like eight treatment packs or you can get a three treatment pack, but it looks like the three treatment packs are not online right now. So in Sephora, you can purchase an eight treatment pack of this for $32. So it doesn't come in a container like this. It comes in like a squeezy type, um, like a foil package, which is a little odd for me. I'm like, that's crazy. But it is $32 for eight little treatments for your hair. I feel like it is a good treatment, so I guess that's why when I got this, the bottle's not so full. It wasn't. It's empty now. But it wasn't so full because you're not going to need a lot of it. You just put a little bit in your hair and you, you leave that in for a while. I really like the way it looks in my hair, too. I think, not looks, because it doesn't really look like anything, but I like the way it makes my hair look. So, really do like this, and I definitely would consider purchasing a full size. I'm just not sure that I like the way that they actually sell it in the little foil sample packs. I don't like that idea. The next product is something from Clinique. This is the Clinique um, Black Honey. This is an almost lipstick, I'm pretty sure is what they're calling this. So it comes in a tube like this. Now, if you're going to purchase the, this evidently is not a full size. I don't know. Because online, the full size looks a little bit different. I don't know if I can show it to you or not. Let me see if I can show you what a full size looks like. So here's what a full size actually looks like online. And it says it's $17. So that's not a bad price for a lipstick. So I thought this was a full size though because it feels like a full size. I like this product because it's one of those products that you can build up on your lips and it just looks very, very nice. It's one of those light washes of color. So if you like that light wash of color, I think you would definitely enjoy this. I think it works for a lot of skin tones too because I've seen a lot of people wearing this. is like a popular color from Clinique. So I definitely do recommend this if you're one of those people like me. I don't like to wear a bold lippy all the time. This would be more something that you could wear every day and it's very comfortable in the lips. I absolutely love this. And like I said, this feels like a full size. Let me see if there's an ounces on this. I don't know. I can't see it. Like the numbers are very, very small. I don't know. I can't see it. It's too tiny. I'd need a little magnifying glass if I was trying to look it up. The next product is the It Cosmetics your skin but better cc cream i did not use this product specifically but i own this like in my own collection so i thought i'd save this little sample one for when we travel because it'd be perfect for traveling with but i can tell you already if you have any type of skin i think any type of skin good does well with this foundation it's not really a foundation it's more of like a moisturizer with a built-in color so I think it's just perfect on the skin. It looks really good on the skin. It has almost full coverage. So if you're someone who has some acne issues but you don't want that cakey look on your skin, I think this is perfect. That's me. I have acne issues and I feel like this does a great job of covering my acne. And I think that it's very comfortable on. So it's one of those products you can put on. It just feels so lightweight and comfortable. 
absolutely love this and highly recommend this. This is something that if you were going to purchase the full size, the full size is, I'm pretty sure it's $38, but let me double check. The full size for this is $38, and that is one ounce. So one ounce of product is $38, and this is a, well, I guess it's about a tenth of an ounce. So this is like a good enough product that I could probably use this a couple times, but I really wouldn't just hold into this actual container here for traveling. But I do have the full size, and I know it's absolutely amazing. So if you're interested in it, and you are looking for like a full type of uh, foundation, but you don't want that cakey type of foundation, that's what you want to look at, absolutely. The next product is something from Drunk Elephant. This is the Drunk Elephant Lala Retro Whipped Cream. So this is a very, very whipped, very thick cream. So it comes out very, very thick. It reminds me of like a, like, I don't mean to say this and sound negative, but like my, my grandmother and my mom and everybody used to use those thick night creams. And that's the texture it reminds me of. You put it on and it's very creamy, but it has no oiliness to it. So for me, it's very, very comfortable in the skin. It doesn't feel like it's like suffocating my skin whatsoever. I really love this product. It doesn't have a smell. There's no color to it. So they didn't add any dyes. They didn't add any color to it, which is really important. And of course, Strunk Elephant is cruelty free, which is another important thing. So I really do love this. I think it's a very, very good product. I like that they give us a product that can be used versatile because this, they, they call it Lala, which is, I guess, a night word. I think it was like one of their words that they use for night. However, you can use it during the day or the night. It doesn't really matter because it's not suffocating on your skin and it's not greasy, so it's not going to affect your makeup. I really do love this and I would love to purchase a full size. I think the full size of this is $60, so it's quite pricey. Yes, the full size of this is $60 at Sephora, so it's a little bit of a pricey item, but I did find a coupon for Drunk Elephant, and I'll have it linked below where you can get 20% off your, if you're interested in purchasing anything from Drunk Elephant. So if you want to grab that coupon and purchase this for 20% off, I highly recommend this product. It's very, very good. The next thing and the very last thing from the January bag was the Tarte Friction Sticks. Stick, not sticks. Now, I don't like this product for a couple reasons. One, because I feel like it has a lot of exfoliation to it. I think when you put it on, if your skin is sensitive whatsoever, my skin's very sensitive because of my acne issues. So if I rub this around any of my acne that's sore or tender, it hurts. I don't like it because of that. I don't like that it's a stick form, so it kind of gets gross and dirty. I don't like that either. So this for me is a fail, so I don't really like this. I'd rather just purchase a regular type of cleanser and use it like that. I know that the purpose behind this is so that you can travel with it. It's easy to travel with and things like that. But it's just not something I like. So if you're into like more compact travel friendly things and you don't mind that it's going to get a little bit gross looking and that it is a little rough on your skin, then you might like this. But for me, it's just a no-go. So this is $22 and the, I don't know how many ounces that is. Let's see, it's one ounce. So for one ounce, you, get, you can get one ounce of this for $22. So the price is not bad, but I just don't like it. So it's not for me. So for me, I think the January bag was pretty awesome. The only thing I was like not too excited about was the Tarte Friction Sticks and the perfume, which the perfume comes as a freebie, so they don't really count that. Everything else I think was absolutely fantastic. So I'm happy with the January bag. So now we're moving on to the February bag. The February bag comes in the silky, luxurious, like it feels like a, a sexy nighty. That's what it feels like. It's very, very silky. Um, and it's pink, like a blush pink. So it's a very pretty color. So let's see what all kinds of products we have inside of here. I think there was something written on here too. Wasn't there? Yes. It says smitten on the front of it. So it just feels very, very luxurious, the bag does. I love the, the way that they're changing up the bags now. The first thing I'm pulling out is the perfume. So the perfume we have this time is the Marc Jacobs Divine Decadence. So here's what the actual package looks like, and then here is what the sample looks like. I think I've tried this before, but I'm not positive, and I think that I didn't really like it because I think it's a little too strong. But I'll give it another shot. The next thing that I have in here is the Clinique Pep Start. I have like pieces of the bag all over my product. Clinique Pep Start Hydro Blur Moisturizer. Moisturizer. <laughs> Did you hear that? Um, this is supposed to moisturize and blur imperfections. So that's pretty cool. So something that's moisturizing and blurring. So that might be good for my skin because I need moisturization. But I would also like the blurring effect. So here's the little container that you get. I don't know if it has ounces on here or not. Um, 0.24 fluid ounces. Let's get the little pamphlet out so we can see if we can read a little bit of information as we're going along here. So the Tarte, I'm sorry, not the Tarte, but the Marc Jacobs perfume. What does it say? It says, 
It's an ever effervescent floral and bright. This sparkling champagne douse scent is the embodiment of luxury and glamour. So I don't know. I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure that was a perfume that I didn't like. So now the Clinique um, Hydra Blur is a lightweight, oil-free moisturizer meets the primer. Instantly blurs imperfections while providing all-day hydration for a silky, soft, focus finish. So I'm excited to try that out because if it can blur and hydrate, count me in. The next product is something from, let's see, we have something from the Sephora brand. This pieces of bags everywhere. This is the Sephora brand Lash Craft Lengthen Volume Mascara. So I'm excited to try that out. I love lengthening and volumizing products for my lashes because I don't wear false lashes because I'm not good at them. So let's see if I can rip this open. So here is what the little product in size looks like. It does say it's $12 on the outside of here. I don't know if it means that's the full size price. I would assume so. I wouldn't think the sample size would be 12 bucks. Not for Sephora brand, but I could be wrong. So it says a jet black volumizing mascara with an innovative flat paddle shaped wand to lengthen and lift lashes. Ooh, a paddle shaped flat wand. So let's just open this up and see that wand. Oh, it is a flattened. So it's a little bit flattened and then it's really different. That's a different type of wand. So I'm excited to try that out and see how good it is. It's got the, a lot of bristles onto it, which is the type of bristles I like, the type of wand I like, bristles, whatever you want to call it. The next product is something from Too Faced. This is the Too Faced Lip Injection Glossy, and it's in the shade Milkshake. So if I put this on my lips while the boys come to the yard, let me know. So I'm going to put a little bit on. It doesn't look like it's going to give you much color. I think it's just one of those lip pump, lip plumping, plumping products. So it says a sheer tinted gloss uses a botanical infused formula to visibly pump lips instantly while also hydrating and softening over time. So I'm excited to give this a little shot. I think I've tried one of these before, but I know it wasn't the milkshake formula shade, whatever you want to call it. So we we'll have to give it another shot. I do have a little bit on my lips now. This bag is falling apart, honestly. There's pieces of it falling out everywhere. I think this is the last product. Nope, we have one more. So we have something from NARS now. We have the NARS uh, Velvet Lip Glod in the shade Bound. So I think I recently got the shade Bound in something else, another lip kit or something. So this is a little, I think this is a mm, Velvet Lip Glod. So it says it's a nude pink stay all day liquid lipstick that applies easily and leaves a semi matte finish with a silky feel. So let's do a little swatch of it. Oh, it's a really pretty shade. So there's what the shade looks like. I really like the shade. It doesn't smell like anything that I can tell. This is a cute little sample size. I like that sample size. So I'm excited to play with that and see how good it looks on my lips. And the last product is something from Origins. It's the Origins Gin Zing Refreshing Eye Cream to brighten and depuff. So here's a little brightening and depuffing product from Origins. And this says, a luminous eye cream infused with coffee beans, ginseng, and magnolia extract to visibly brighten and depuff the under eyes. So, we'll have to give that a shot and see how good it is. It does have a six month expiration on the little container here. And it looks like it's going to be, ooh, I just wanted a tad of it. I got a bunch. So it's like a pinky shade. It's like a nude pink shade when you pull it out. And it kind of illuminates as soon as you put it on. It's got like an illuminating factor. So we'll have to see how good that is. I might test it somewhere else before I put it under my eyes because I don't like to put anything near my eyes until I've tested it on other parts of my, my face first. So I'll test it like in this area back in here or something just in case I'm sensitive to it. But other than that, that is the February box and the January review. I'd love to hear if you get the Sephora Play also and your thoughts on your box. Did you love it? Did you like it? Did you hate it? I'd love to know. And I'd love to know also what were your favorite products. If you did love your bag, let me know what your favorite products were. My lips are starting to get a little tingly from that Too Faced lip injection. They're feeling a little bit like they got. I was playing with jalapeno peppers. So anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts and your opinion on the Sephora Play. Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.